Hey, this is the Money Man, Eddie Money, watching Jiggy Jack TV. Well, well go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys, and uh, let the old ladies know where to write the complaint letters. Right here. <laughs> 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 I'm playing straight razor steel mate. This book rebels. We've been on the road for three weeks. Mother, guitar for this book rebels. I'm Sean, drummer for straight razor steel mate. Josh, this book rebels drummer. And straight razor steel mate while we're in LA. That's right. I'm Sam. I sing and I play guitar for Straight Razor Stalemate. Now you guys have been on the road, and within the last like what 48 hours or so, there's been all sorts of tragedy. I guess is the best word to say it, or adventure. I I don't know what all you yeah, say. It's adventure. Uh, <laughs> Shakespearean trash. <laughs> we had started last week. About, uh, Two weeks into the tour on my birthday, we hit uh, the aftershock in Kansas. No, yeah, it's in Kansas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Kansas. It's uh, Burrietta, Kansas, somewhere. It's about 30 minutes outside of Kansas yeah. City. Uh, we had a fucking damn good show with uh, the Flesh Eating Goons and Them Damn Hip <laughs> Clippers. You <laughs> got it by Vices on tour from Austin. Uh, and we all got shipwrecked, and the next morning, two of us were, uh, should have gone to the hospital, one of us went, and uh, the next day, one of us woke up without a toe. She's not here, and that's why Piss Broke Rebels is only half represented here. Alright. Wow. Like I said, <laughs> she tried to give me a birthday bullet, shot herself in the foot. Well... <laughs> and then I woke I up know. this morning and there was no way in hell I was driving three hours without making sure that my ribs weren't broken in half. It turns out they were just cracked, but it's about five hours behind. And uh, we got here in a hurry. Kansas City not fucking crushed us. <laughs> I blame the flesh eating goons. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a good time with them, Damn Young, Damn Young Clippers? Oh yeah, every yeah. time. They they played here time. about a month ago, and they oh they tore it apart. Yeah, Jody's the one who hooked us up with here. We've been friends with them. We we started about six months apart. They got about a six month head start when they formed, and we and then Stray Razor did. And uh, we've been playing all around Kansas and uh, in Missouri and Oklahoma with them for a few years now. Uh, Pittsburgh Rebels was supposed to cut uh, their debut album. We've been going off demos and live shows for the past year, year and a half or so. Uh, we have plans with Jody Hendrix of the of them damn young members to produce the PBR album. And uh, with uh, the missing toe incident, Straight Razor had to get in and pop out an EP real quick because we weren't about to leave them hanging without someone to record. <laughs> we're about to do, we've done about 5,200 miles in the past three weeks in the most fucked up route that you can possibly imagine. Backtrack like motherfuckers. Uh, so we cut that out. But yeah, Jody Hendrix and uh, the rest of them members, they've been, they've been friends with us for a, a long time. They actually, uh, the week before my birthday where everything went down, we were in Joplin, Missouri uh, for Sean's my birthday. Play with the Frank. Frank. Yeah, Brutally Frank out of Joplin, fucking hardest band in Missouri as far as I'm concerned. So did you guys actually play in Joplin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How, how was that? Like, it, was, it was great. It was great. It was all our friends and our people back, but that town, the town yeah. out of Tassel, but that yeah. town is strong as fuck. And they all came out and didn't let a bit of a depression show on them. They had a fucking blast. Yeah. Uh, they did. It our was friends a great show. the strongest people we know. So, so you guys are. Uh, what would you describe yourselves for somebody who's never heard you guys before? What would you? Well, we've been going under the uh, like the livers, like Rudy Frank, Dark Alleys. A lot of them. We've been uh, branded as the Midwest psychobilly sound. A lot different than that East Coast, the yeah. Jersey sound. A lot different than the uh, Southern California. Let's wear sleeveless shirts. Play like this. <laughs> sing about our feelings. There, there. Uh, I'm yeah, from we, Nebraska. There used to be a, a few of these psychedelic bands in Nebraska. Oh yeah. Uh, the Deformities. Uh, there's a new one. I heard uh, the Deformities. There, before. there are some really good friends of mine. One of the guys from the Deformities is in a new psychedelic band called uh, Snake Island. 
Oh, right. Really? Uh, Daniel Lindbergh's actually just played with. I was going to be playing with in Omaha not too soon. Oh, yeah, they're up in Omaha this week, I think. Yep, and yeah. they're playing with Snake Island, so. Oh, okay. That would be cool. We were thinking about going through Omaha. I went to school in Minnesota and caught a bunch of good concerts in Omaha. Yeah. Drove down there pretty regularly. But as far as what we pretty much are, we're just some loud rock and roll. That's cool. Yeah. So, why do you think people take to your guys' style of music? It's fun. And this motherfucker's really handsome when his hair's up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like a young Scott Baio. Scott Baio. <laughs> 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 now you guys have been uh, have, have been on the road and have been. How have you been able to stay sane with all this? We're not nonsense going on. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> they have started miles back. First night. Yeah, <laughs> sanity is not an option if you're gonna play in Straight Racer Stalemate or Piss Pro Rebels. No. We're a bunch of fucking We're birds. crazy bastards. Now, obviously, you guys get days off on, on tours. What do you guys like to do when you... Uh, you Nothing. Get days, days, days off Nothing. Get really? <laughs> <laughs> you get days off on tours? You get really? You're allowed to do that? I like to do nothing. <laughs> I like to watch a movie or rub one off. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with it. I tell you, I'm, I'm putting on about 20 extra pounds around here, and that's pure fucking American grade protein back up. Tell you what, barbecue. <laughs> oh, barbecue in the Midwest. I thought I was going to starve on this tour. And then we got to Kansas City. <laughs> here, we kicked your ass, let's feed you. Yeah, we all wolfed down some gates in a fucking heartbeat. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> all we wanted when we got there was some gates, but we had about four days in a row at Jimmy John's. Yeah. That's about all that yeah. can Jimmy John's. Yeah. That, 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 that's about all that can fucking handle our schedule. It's like, we need sandwiches here now, and they were there in like ten minutes. We don't got Jimmy John's out in L.A. It's a fucking heartbreak. Yeah, but I think you guys have Del Taco out there. And we do. We do have Del Taco. See, we, we don't, don't have that here. No, but you got Taco Bueno. Well. Yeah, gross. Oh, no, man. Oh, I miss Taco Bueno. Every yeah. time we come through, we always come back. We had a pretty good Taco Bueno here in town. It was just bad management. They ended up going out of business. Well, that sucks because we didn't get any in Kansas City. <laughs> we always come back from the it's Midwest with one of big-ass cups filled with the red sauce. If you guys ever go, if you guys ever go to Lincoln, Nebraska, this, is, this place is only in Lincoln, Nebraska. Next time you guys go to Lincoln, Nebraska, go find yourself in De Leon's and get their sauce. Oh yeah! It's, it's a it's a family owned chain of Mexican joints, fast food Mexican joints that are open, open 24 hours in Lincoln, only in Lincoln, Nebraska. You get a fucking chicken burrito from there, and they're like this fucking big. I can only I can hardly eat two of them. And you, you can get a combo for like six bucks that comes with two of them, and their 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 red sauce is just amazing. Yeah. We had a, a, the best deal we had on this whole tour is we uh, we got off the road somewhere in Albuquerque, I think it was. And when we came out, we were sharing two vehicles right now. We, we kind of lost our van at the last minute. So we got a pickup truck and a fucking SUV. Four of us left on a Tuesday night. Everybody hates the SUV. Nobody <laughs> wants to ride. Nobody wants to be in the SUV in the head. It smells like feet and horn. <laughs> but the other two came through the next night. Was it two? Yeah, it was just you, right? Yeah. Because yeah. they have jobs. <laughs> we all have jobs. He doesn't have a job. He does. He has a very good job. Anyway, Butler has a job. He makes things pretty for living. Are uh, oh, you an interior? But we designer. Well, you are from LA. We, we fed four people for 19 bucks at a place called. Taqueria. <laughs> wow. That was about the best deal we've gotten on food outside of eating for free the whole fucking trip. Even even just feeding us at Jimmy John's takes a fucking $50 bill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what, what would you guys say is the highlight of being on tour and being in this band is so far? Surviving. <laughs> <laughs> like, is there any big, like... Know what sort of looking for anything like I'd any say, big, big thing you've accomplished that you guys are satisfied with? Well, I'd say that. Yeah, it's doing it. Well, I, I think that you know, I don't know about everyone else, but for me specifically, 
what I like about tours, really just everything I like about doing anything. I like, you know, driving for long periods of time. I like setting up things. I kind of like carrying around heavy things. I, you know, I like drinking and movies. I think touring is like one of my favorite things. So, uh, you know, it's a, so the highlight of the tour is, you know, just the whole spirit. It's like a combination of everything I like about life, and then I get to go do it. It's hard, but it's really possible. Yeah, just being able to get out and be able to hit, because we hit towns where we've never played before. We've never played here, and it's every new town is an audition, so you gotta go up there and throw out the fucking A game, make sure everybody in the crowd has a good time, and wants to buy something, so when we come back next time, they want to give us some money, they want to fucking buy our CDs, they want to fucking be here buying us drinks, and that's, that's, the, that's the good thing, that's the best thing about it, is coming through it meeting new people, making new friends, because we've got a lot of friends who've been doing this for years, some of them have their own, or are on a label, some of them are just still fucking fighting the empire and doing it on their own, and every year it gets harder and harder for bands to be able to get out and hit every town scene in America to, to get their sound out there and keep their yeah. fans happy. That's real, real important to us is making sure that people don't walk away pissed off. That's, that, that's a cool deal. I, hey, customer service is a dying art everywhere. Yeah, we <laughs> So, tour motto, what would Dolph do? Exactly. <laughs> nice. Where did you get that shirt, by the way? That's a great shirt. This, uh, this is actually the second one that I've had. It's custom made by uh, Babyface Nelly, the captain of the uh, Angel City Derby Girls. We're real big supporters of the Roller Girls around the country. Uh, They're trying to put Roller Derby here in Salina, I found out. Or, uh, Go Go Gidget, sorry, who's actually from Joplin and doing a documentary. She's put Roller Derby on the back burner for uh, the last couple months by going out to Joplin and, and getting everything covered and making a documentary called it Came From Above. And then we got another gal named Shit who is from Omaha and uh, she's just in charge of making sure that every girl meets during practice. This shirt was made by Babyface Nelly, who's the captain. And, uh, and we're, we're real good in with uh, Angel City Derby Girls, but we're actually, the three of us are members of the uh, Green Country Roller Girls out of Tulsa. And yeah. uh, they're going to fucking regionals yeah, this year. Yeah, regionals this year. They're ranked First year, uh, regional. number eight right now. And we're real fucking proud of them because we've been there from the beginning with them. Yeah. Tulsa first started a roller derby team, and now they're real kick ass, taking names. Cool stuff. Well, as we wrap up, guys, uh, I want you guys, each of you guys, I want to go around the table. If you guys could play with any band, living, dead, broke up, whatever they are, who would it be? Fistbow Rebel. Yeah, right now, Fistbow Rebel is the saddest thing that we've gotten this far, and we had to lose two powerhouses. But I bet we can come up with something individual on that, but that is without a doubt because we wish PBR was here because PBR never leaves a crowd unsatisfied. Who would you pick, Sam? Who would I pick? I just happened to be I just happened to be screwing a, I just happened no. to be screwing a girl at the time whose mom had tickets and didn't want them. That is winning, my friend. That is <laughs> winning. That is winning. <laughs> second row, second row, floor, middle of the stage. <laughs> 
I've seen Sting, but I would kill the fucking Sting Stewart Copeland. What about you, Darkness? Who do you want to see? Who do you want to kill with? You guys and the pussy cat doll. Hey, we can pull off that. Even <laughs> baby, we can pull off that. Straight racer. No, I wouldn't be. Straight razor. No, I mean, like, no. like, 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 straight razor stomach. So you said Vince Grove Rebels? Fuck y'all. Straight razor stomach. Who would you want to play a show with? He didn't say who would play a he said, who would you want to play a show with? Straight Razor Stone, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of retarded. He's been driving all day. He's been handling a lot of stuff. Well, out. it happens. I think he'd like to play a show with Tool, though. Uh, no, Perfect Circle. Perfect Circle. Perfect Circle's good. You can't, replace, good. You can't replace Danny Carey. You charge threes. He comes and goes in any band that he pleases. So, yeah. say he's doing something with the Vandals on Urban Circle and wants to tour. Yeah, I'd do it. He's not asking that much. They just played. Okay. okay. What straight racer would you want to play with from your eyes? That's not what he said. He said individually. That's what he's playing for exactly. Who do you want to be able to go with straight racer? That's not what I heard. Well, then you're dead. <laughs> really, Franklin. I'm done. That's a good answer. Good answer. Hell yeah. That'd be a good show. Be a good fucking show. Yeah. Well, how do we find you guys on the internet as we wrap up here? Facebook. You can find us on Facebook under uh, Facebook.com Straight Razor Stalemate or Facebook.com slash uh, Rebels. Also on Reverb Nation, just slash Straight Razor Stalemate or slash Pittsburgh Rebels. Uh, we'll have a website up here soon. But, uh, yeah, pretty much the social networking site is the way to go. Cool stuff. Everybody out there right now. Well, thanks, gentlemen. Thanks for doing this. Thank you, man. And, uh, Fred Phelps to the Kinsey Six from Glenn Miller to two live crew and everyone in between we do them all we are kjag radio and jiggy jag tv